So I, uh, I woke up this morning with a plan. Uh, I had a good day ahead, lots of productive things on my action list, including making this video. Um, I was looking forward to it. Adam and Rebecca in the office, they need this video to send out today. If I get it right, then by the end of tomorrow, something like 7,000 people will have seen it across all the platforms. Uh, and Adam and Rebecca will have, they were connected with a handful of people that they need to connect with um, in order to fill our next Academy Day course up. And in the Academy Day course will be full. Uh, phones will be ringing, emails will be tapping away, bookings will be made, people will be making payments, and the day will be full. It will be a success. There will be another group of Academy attendees who will have been taught how to find, fix and rent the right property in the right area, uh, the right way, to the right kind of people, to the right kind of renter. Um, that'll be a good news thing. If I don't make it, then Adam and Rebecca will be sat twiddling their thumbs in the office uh, with nothing to do. The trouble I've got today is that I've I've been up all night with my newborn. <laughs> that's not the end of the world, that's, that's pretty usual at the moment. Um, but my youngest daughter was ill during the night and my wife needs root canal surgery today. Um, so as of 7 a.m. this morning, I need to take my other two kids to school, walk the dog, I'm just kind of, let, <laughs> just let her go, um, then get back to my wife so I can take her to the dentists and um, pick up the kids from school. So here's my action list. I have my action list here, not making it up, here it is. Um, what do I choose? What, what do I choose to do? And I was reminded of the 80-20 rule. Now, if you don't know what that is, uh, Google it, the 80-20 rule. Um, the short overview is, it was an Italian economist, I forget his name. Um, noticed that 80% of Italy's wealth was held by 20% of the population. He did a bit more research and others have done it since. I think this was sort of the 16th, 17th century that he was doing this. And he found that the 80-20 rule was applicable to a lot of things. So perhaps 80% of your profits would come from 20% of your sales. 80% of your complaints would come from 80% of your, uh, 20 percent of your clients, etc., etc. Now, the one that I really like is that 80 percent of your results come from 20 percent of your actions. Now, if you think really carefully about all actions to take, you can achieve more with less. And I'm kind of hoping to rely on that today. I even started thinking about applying the 80/20 rule to the 80/20 rule itself. So you get the 4/64 rule really efficient so maybe in this six minute video i can get um you know from from a couple of minutes today i can i can get all the results that i was really going to go anyway anyway that's that's what i'm aiming for um so what did i choose to do with the limited time i have today the first thing i did was print out three bits of paper i had them signed i had the witness by the next door neighbor who's at our house now just uh, holding the fort a little bit and I put them in the post. I also use an app on the phone to transfer some money over uh, to my solicitors. By the end of today, I will own another house, another property. And I don't believe that there's anything I could have done today that would have been time better spent. I'm also making this video. I guess the question is, by the time you've watched this video, will you have made the best decision um, that you could have made today, this month, this year? Um, maybe longer and booked your place on our latest Academy Day course, which as a reminder, that's what this video is about. If I tell you what our Academy Day um, does is, what, what goes on, um, you and a group of other landlords and my team will spend a full day in a buy-to-let property that we own, have just completed the renovation on, it'll be ready to rent when you're in it. The team will walk you through step by step the process that we undertook uh, from how to find the deal through uh, state agents, director vendor, whatever it is, um, what to look for on the initial viewing, what notes to take, how to take them, where to record them, what to put, you know, put them on a server or put them on a Dropbox or whatever, how to price up a renovation confidently there and then in the property, really importantly, so you can offer on the on the property there and then, safe in the knowledge that you can get the work done for the right price, really important. How to negotiate to buy the property at the right price, and something about 80% of our properties come from, um, we, we get rejected on 80%, so they come from re-offering and re-offering uh, over a period of time. How to contract with the builders and how to manage the builders throughout that process, throughout the renovation. 
uh, how to handle disputes, snagging, the snagging process is a big, big part of it. Uh, and, and generally any problems that arise during the renovation, and there will be problems, you do need to, need to be forewarned, forewarmed is forearmed, you need to know what's going to um, come down the track and be ready for it. You know, there's no point in seven o'clock in the morning, be on site and get that sprung on you. You need to know what you say in a certain situation. How to get the best rent from the best renter and manage the property long term. You will learn everything from A to Z, exactly how to do it. Really, really, really importantly, you'll be doing it all right there and then in a property, in the property itself. Um, if there's something you don't understand, it's right there in front of you. You can ask the question, you can open the door and say, what was this? Where did you get this from? How did you do this? Why did you do that? This isn't lots of people sat in a hotel, rounding tables of 10, drinking <laughs> drinking coffee, eating biscuits around a you know, motivational PowerPoint presentation. You will be in a property exactly like the one that you need to find, fix and rent. By the end of the day, you'll, you'll, you'll know how to do it exactly yourself. Um, so I'm distracted. <laughs> Dogs chasing after swans. The swans have gone. <laughs> um, at the end of the day, people walk away saying, I get it. And, and that's really important to us. What, what's more important, uh, well, equally important, is you will get the paperwork we, we use in our business. So in our business, we've got paperwork, and you know, all, all the things I mentioned there, how to do, uh, contact um, uh, viewing, how to, all, all the things you need to write down and rules that you need to do, like a contract or a, uh, a schedule of works or a, a plan of um, payments and that kind of thing. There's a load of, load of documents, maybe... 40 or 50 documents that we've got and you will get them all on a USB stick. Plug it in and not only, you will now know how to use them because we go through them in the day, but you get to take them away. And that makes it really, really easy for you to translate that and do this on your own property as well. Even better, you can come back to any subsequent Academy Day for a refresher. Um, there's three headings during the day. It's find, fix and rent. So let's say you found your property, you're in the middle of fixing it and something does go wrong and you need to come back to the Academy Day. Um, you can, you come back, you get your answers uh, there and then on, the, on a subsequent day and you get your project back on track. So find, fix, rent, find, fix, rent and you can come back as many times as you like. Speaking to a couple of the other day, uh, man and wife, kind of a separate but related point um, about a house that we found fixed and rented for them seven years ago. And it's not often we get to check back in with people that that far back. Um, but I was just talking about how it had worked out. Now I, I knew roughly what it, how it had worked out, but when we actually wrote it down, it was it was startling. First of all, let's point out it wasn't all plain sailing. There's, there has been some niggles along the way, but they've been long forgotten. Let me tell you that. Um, never going to be somebody that's saying this is this is easy. I'm never never going to say investing in property is easy. I'll just tell you that it is very very worthwhile. Um, so we're looking back seven years. How had things gone? Now the capital growth and the rent over that seven years for that one property had made that couple over twelve and a half thousand pounds per annum every year for those seven years. Being a landlord can give you the time and freedom not to worry about the kind of get day that I'm having now. It's really not it's not a big deal. I, I've got the time that I can I can de dedicate to looking after my kids and my wife and that feels really good. Um, you know, I'm making a video by the river walking the dog. It, this is not a bad day. However, if you get it wrong, it can be, property can become a millstone around your neck, a nightmare that never seems to end. Um, I think you can probably see why I chose the two actions that I did for my list. Um, I bought a house, another house, and like our clients, that's only going to add good stuff to my life. I can't think of any. That was, had to be priority number one today. Second, I made this video because I want more people to have the same as me uh, and, and our clients. You should book on to that Academy Day course now. There's a link below, I know that, uh, or you can phone or email, whatever you like. It'll take minutes, but it could be the single most important thing you do this decade. And I don't think that's an exaggeration. Think about it. Um, think about my clients that I've just mentioned. If you manage to do what they did, uh, maybe one property, maybe two properties, three times more, I don't know, you'll have all the information in your own head to do this and you'll be able, you'll be in charge of doing it. As, using that information you learn on the Academy of Day course, think about what a difference that will make to your decade. You know, forget the 80-20 rule or even my 464 rule. I did some other maths and it might be wrong, but I think you'd be on the, the 0 0.8 and 51.2 rule, something like that, you know. Um, 
very, very efficient time spent. So book onto an Academy Day course now and uh, have the best decade you can.